Hey guys, what's going on? It's some random Irish guy. As you know, um, for my um, 150 uh, views thank you video, I said that I'm playing a lot of Call of Duty Black Ops, and in fact, I am really. This control has really dawned on me. Um, other things you might not know about me is that I'm also a huge, huge fan of guns, really. I have a, a BB gun here, which is a CZ-75. You might know this as the dual CZs in Call of Duty Black Ops Zombies. This is not a gas gun, this is a standard, you know, uh, spring pop-up gun. Jeez, it looks like that wasn't loaded, I shot in the camera. <laughs> but um, from the start of Call of Duty Black Ops, every level you always play, you always get a starting pistol called the Colt M1911. Now the World at War 1 doesn't really do that all good, you know, like it's it's the same, same gun, but the Black Ops version of the classic zombies, it feels more smooth, you know, the sound of it sounds better, and when you upgrade it you get dual Mustang and Sally's, and the first one you get what's called a CIA BH3000, I think it is, which is only a single grenade launcher, but the Black Ops 1 Mustang and Sally is so cool. So cool in fact, and how much I love Call of Duty Black Ops and that gun, even though in later stages it becomes useless and it's um, imperative that you upgrade it because it turns into the best gun of all. Um, I went along and bought myself a CO2 Chrome M1911. It's told that these are limited edition only and they're not really uh, that popular. So, but then again that could be a big load of shit. So, <laughs> uh, It's an airsoft gun and gas blowback gun. So when you shoot it, I'll show you an example, when you shoot it Blowback means when you shoot it, the actual slide will like like that. Now I'm just using that as an example. So let's take a look at this bad boy itself. So we've got a manual, and there it is here. The manual, as you could imagine, is all in Chinese or Asian or whatever, but you get the idea. BBs go in, gas goes in, boom, out comes fun. One of the biggest drawbacks towards this gun is that you get no accessories with it. You might think you do, but all they did was just put a sheet of this nice fine felt material over it and um, that's it you get nothing what you see is what you get for 200 euro so a bit of a drawback but what can you do hey here we go it weighs an absolute ton now i'm gonna bring the camera up just so i can show you this because i want to see my reaction towards this this is an absolute beast of a gun this is the exact same gun that you get in call of duty black ops at the start of every zombie round the colt m1911 as you can tell, look down the slide, this is the exact same make and model, and same colour even, the chrome silver. Now this is all metal, all chrome finished, there's not one bit of plastic on it, even the handle is made of hard metal. It weighs an absolute ton. You got the magazine slide here, which is takes um, gas and holds up to, I believe, 18 BBs, I haven't tried it out fully yet. And what I'm going to do to you today is I'm going to fill it up and just shoot it really. Now I'm not going to fill up with BBs because I'm inside and I don't want to damage anything, but I'll fill up with gas and show you what it is. But on the slide I got as well other things. I got a BB loading mechanism, so what you do is you fill your BBs in and just eject them in like a big needle set instead of you going one, two, three, four, which takes a long, long time. Um, I bought a spare magazine as well too, but I've had to leave them out in the car and I couldn't be arsed going out and getting it, so I'll get that when the camera's off. And I bought a bag of BBs, got some air gas, uh, power gas, sorry, this is the one they all use, and I got some silicon oil spray. Now this is also crucial, especially for all metal, all metal jackets. What you need to do is, over time the slide will become, you know, not slippy or anything. You need to have a lot of, um, the less friction the better. The gun has to be, you know, lubricant and be able to slide, because this is a blowback. When you shoot the magazine, the slide, sorry, it goes back like that. So the guy already did it in the shop, but what you would need to do is you need to cock the gun back, like so, and inject a bit of gas in there, as well as in there, in the magazine, all the parts where there's all moving actions. Like, for example, when I push that down, it slides back nice and simply, because the guy, when I bought it, already put the gas, uh, the, 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 the oil in it. But if you were buying this new, you would have to do that, because it would prevent the gun from sticking and locking. Now, hmm, okay, it's weird. I've just noticed that there. Bit of a dent on the front of it there already. Hmm, not sure I'm happy with that. Oh well. I'm pretty sure it's not in. Pretty sure it's not in that much of a bad bad deal. So yeah, slides back into place, and then you shoot it. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to fill up with gas and show you what it looks like. Because as I've told you before, several times from my last video, I'm a huge, huge, huge fan 
Oh crap. Of Call of Duty Black Ops. Uh, I love World at War and the Modern Warfare is eh, not really a big fan of them to be honest. I have all three of them. I've played them all thoroughly. I do enjoy them but when you're paired up with Modern Warfare 3 or Black Ops, you kind of jump on Black Ops. Mainly because the fact of oh, it's Nazi zombies. <laughs> Who doesn't love Nazi zombies? Seriously, you name me one person who doesn't like Nazi zombies. And I guarantee they're idiots. So, you get the gas like this. The needle goes into the end like so. And you want to fill it up like for around 3 seconds, I think it was, he said. 1, 2, 3. I think you do it like twice. And 3 times. Now, I don't know if I put too much gas in there or too little gas, but we'll soon find out because I should be able to empty a full magazine out of this gun. The guy said if you can't empty a full magazine out of your gun with one shot of gas, well, then you're not putting enough in. And he says if you empty a full magazine and you're still firing away, you put too much in. So that's fully loaded now. I'm going to put the gun in like so, magazine and so like that. You cock it back and aim it. And. Ooh! I'll put you in a first person perspective so you can see it. One second. I'll try to get it in a POV shot so you can see it. One second. Alright, so that's probably as best I'm gonna get, so Oh yeah, to hold down the to hold down the safety latch as you're firing it. So it's like in real life. So it's like Now it's incredibly, incredibly loud. Which is a good thing. So I've played maybe fired like five shots off that, so technically speaking I should be able to get another ten shots out of this. So let's try it. So we got 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Just about made that last clip now. Just about made it. Overall, I'm extremely happy with it. It's a tremendous gun. And then you eject the last bit of tiny gas. There's a release valve here, but you don't really have to do that. Over time, the, the magazine will get cold because that's due to so much gas. You have to allow it to be at room temperature. And when filling it up, you clamp your hand around it because the body temperature off your hands will increase the chance of warming up the magazine. You don't want it to be too cold. So when it gets too cold and you load it full of CO2 or gas, whatever it's called, it'll just over time evaporate and just consent out of all the ports in the gun. But overall, I'm extremely happy with the gun and I'm going to be taking it on a firing range outside. I didn't want to fire any BBs inside my house because I'm going to break anything but I'm a huge fan of Call of Duty I went out and bought the gun and now I'm gonna do some real life zombie slaying yeah <laughs> when the zombie apocalypse comes I'll be ready and I'll also have a double CZ so I'll have CZ and 9-11 alright so here we go how badass does that look it's like it's like uh, Calamity Jane and Mustang Sally, so I would call this Mustang Calamity. Mustang and Calamity. If they were loaded, they'd be pretty badass. It's been some random Irish guy. It's been some random Irish guy with uh, gun reviews. And uh, I hope to do more in the future, but my next video is going to be a Let's Play. I promised a YouTuber uh, by the name of Xbox Channel 97. He made a comment on my Oh, I can't take my life anymore. He made a comment on my channel saying that I should do a Let's Play of Super Mario World. Well, guess what? That's going to be the next upcoming few videos. I'll try to split them up into as many parts as I can. And be sure to check them out, guys. So, this has been some random Irish guy. We're a huge fan of Call of Duty Black Ops. So much that I went out and bought the gun video. Yes. See you next time, guys. Thanks so much for watching.